What up guys, welcome back to my vlog. We are off to road, Atlanta. Um, dropped off some guys to go get some rental cars. Don't know if I'll be in this van going out with one of the other guys or driving one of the other rental cars, but we'll find out. But anyways, I don't know how much vlog I'm gonna get. This will probably just be more of a traveling vlog maybe. If not, I'm not gonna probably record anything we do at the event. Um, but and that we'll see what it is this will probably be a week long worth of vlogs going in this one so figure it out as i go oh well, guys made it to atlanta um a little tired basically got here did some stuff at the track real quick and then went to eat had to check out some clothes had to buy some other stuff for another event later but had to get it over and done with but i'm gonna jump in the shower call it a night and just pick up either probably tomorrow at Road Atlanta this week. Um, don't know how much I'm gonna film. I might not film anything here because it's not a typical event that we normally do. So, but here's part of the track. Pretty much the last turn before going on the front stretch. Well guys, made it back home. Um, back from Road, Amer Road Atlanta. Um, it was just a one day event. We pretty much drove out there the day before. Um, one day in the hotel, checked out, did the event, then drove back to North Carolina. Um, it was a Chevy event that we did. Um, I did just get that one or two footages of the burnout and all that of them. It was a three course they did. They did the road course, then they did like a autocross and they came over and kind of did a little bit of a a drag strip that we made in one of the paddocks area but um they had a blast it was fun it was a fun event as due to do as well so but um it's late it's about 11 o'clock at night i am going to jump in the shower kind of clean this up probably get a haircut um then get ready head off tomorrow to bristol to the nascar race to do some stuff with toyota down there um just a two-day event then I come back to North Carolina and pretty much turn back around, head to Memphis to do some stuff with Dodge police chargers out there. And then once I'm done there, I just fly out and I go do some stuff with Ferrari for the 70th year anniversary in San Francisco. So right now, I am going to jump into the shower. Done with my shower, cleaned up a little, um, but I'm starving. Really didn't eat on the way back from Atlanta, so I'm going to grab some quick to eat and then probably call it a night gotta get up early start heading off to bristol and do some stuff out there made it to the shop or office whatever you want to call it getting waiting for everybody else to get here to head off to bristol to do some stuff with toyota and give some rides there but parking lot's empty i mean we got our program cars but car parking lot's empty we're all spread out everywhere. We got some people leaving to go do some stuff with Ferrari right now. Um, and I'll be there Monday, fly in there Monday about midnight. I land in San Francisco. So it's gonna be a long week for me. Made it to Bristol, Tennessee. Um, nothing to do today besides just kick it out of the hotel. I'm tired with all the traveling I've been doing back to back to back to back and getting up early. So I'm gonna crash it today. That's the bed I'm on. That's the bed I'm gonna crash on. Seems like I always start off my everything at a hotel, but that's the view we have. Doing Toyota rides right now here at Bristol Motor Speedway. And you can probably see him in the background doing his stuff now, but taking a break before I go back out, getting some eat. Wish I could record over there. I mean, I could probably do something and just add, you know, non-copyright, non-royalty music to it, but they're playing copyright music over there, which I can't use but good video, could be a good video over at the other side where we're pretty much staging and loading everybody, but try to get some video from the inside, but just gotta find a way to record it. They are doing the track, getting it wet, dried out for us. So that's what they're doing right now, getting the track a little bit more wet, kicking up a lot of dust. So I know it's gonna go up later, but if you guys are ever out in Bristol, um, come out for the ride. It's right outside of turn four, I believe, where we're always set up. So next year you could always come out or one of the tracks that Toyota's real big at sponsoring. Usually they do something with 
the off-road trucks or they do stuff with the cameras get thrill rides so but having fun just waiting for them to get the track all all wet as soon as the guy figures out how to turn on the water truck there he goes he gets it on last time it took him a while to get it all turned on but got a good crowd coming out um, we just had a non-stop going for a good two hours where we just kept on looping not stop it had a pretty good line but the line just kind of died down right now that's what we got right now people getting ready to register again but it was busy I like keeping it busy keep it going keep the fans excited pumped up for tonight's race but this is the last day while we're here then we fly back not fly but drive back to charlotte home real quick change my luggage over head over to memphis do some stuff out there with Mem stuff at the track at memphis out there and then i jump on a plane and fly out to san francisco to do more stuff so it's like non-stop and then even when i'm done with that a week there still continue on doing stuff so that's all i'm doing august is busy for me this month busy even september is busy for me uh here comes the crowd they're coming so as soon as i get done watering we'll begin with my boy James right here, came out for a ride with me in Daytona, and now he came yeah, for a ride with me. Yeah. And he steals all the girls, so watch out, guys. He, uh, he's a lady killer. He yeah. gets them. Uh -huh. They murk, baby. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. All right. Thank you. See, Man, I appreciate you. Right, no problem. I that kid James made my day. He made my day in Daytona. He made my day here in Bristol. He came out for a ride in Daytona. He had a blast. He came out again why we're here at Bristol had me again I mean it's that kid is is a good kid um, he's like an angel I mean he really made my day him coming out again asking for me to give him a ride again so it's pretty cool for him to remember me from Daytona and that was about a few months ago and he made my day I mean it it really does that kid really touches a lot of people Wish I could get some video from here, unless I'd film it from inside the vehicle, inside the truck, but, um, because they're playing music out there, so I don't want to get hit with copyrights, but it's a pretty good view when they go through here. So we start off, kind of do some donuts out there, come through here sideways, this section right here sideways, up that, down, and a couple other sections where you could do some drifting and all that in the dirt. Got about two more hours to go before we're done and then jump in the van and head back to North Carolina um, Again, they're prepping the track again doing some maintenance work got a lot of ruts in there and the track dried up So they're adding more water to it get to have more fun um, A lot of people coming back in line. They're having a blast. So they're just going through going through I think I gave one kid that rode with them all but at least gave him four rides already So him and his family so they're having a blast good way to kill time before the race starts but Anyways, two more hours, head off back to North Carolina, taking pretty much a cat nap, back to the airport, fly to Memphis, and do some more stuff there. Done doing Toyota rides, so time to help clean up the vehicles. They are muddy, so I'll probably get an out shop. They're not as bad as they were yesterday, because yesterday it rained while we were doing this, but we are done, ready to head back to North Carolina as soon as we get everything out of here done. That was gone. <laughs> Made it to Memphis, Tennessee now. Um, here to do some stuff with Dodge Police Charger. So it's pretty much where a lot of the police agencies around Tennessee area um, come out and they get to test drive Dodge products as well as the other manufacturers are there and see which ones they want to get for their next fleet when they buy them. But if this is the hotel mat yes i'm gonna show you the view but this is the view i got so i got a nice church over there it looks like and big open field and car driving by but don't know how much i'm gonna film today um don't know if i'm gonna end this one short and just start off tomorrow or just finish off tomorrow and then just start off fresh when i go to san francisco to do the ferrari stuff
The only thing sucks when you travel a lot, you gotta do laundry, so just get done doing that. Everything's in the dryer. It says it takes 20 minutes, but it's almost done. It's been going on for almost 40 minutes now. And I picked up a new shirt. It says Sin Nude. It's in like the Netflix um, font. So don't know why I got it. I just, something I just had to get. A pretty, pretty funny shirt to me. All right. Um, while I was getting my clothes out of the washer and dryer, there was a guy that walked in, put his clothes in, then he stripped down butt naked to put the rest of his clothes in. I, <laughs> I should get on video so you guys can believe me. But it was funny, This, I mean, he got butt ass naked, wrapped a towel around himself as I was going out the door, and it was like, did he just really get naked in the laundry room at the hotel? I, I should get on video so you guys would believe me. Up on this Monday morning, getting ready to head and do some stuff here at the Memphis Racetrack with some stuff with Dodge. Um, don't know if I'm going to record anything more after this. If not, I'll give my outro if you, after this. If you don't see my outro, then I'm continuing on videoing. You, you can feel the difference in the temperature. Try and get a shot of the solar eclipse here. It looks pretty cool. I got them going through the sunglasses that they provide you, looking through the lens. I put it on the camera. That's pretty cool. That's what I was using to look through to show the eclipse. It's getting dark here. So it's pretty cool to see the solar eclipse go on right now. Um, I think it was what, over 100 years last time it happened in the United States like that? Full eclipse. Trying to soak up all the AC as I can. It is hot out there. Even, even though I'm stuck in a vehicle pretty much all day, but trying to get all the AC as I can. It is hot here in Memphis. I mean, it is terrible. Look at that. I mean, it's high. I feel sorry for everybody that's standing out there. But well, you got like, we got our Chevy boys, got our Dodge. Woohoo! Go Dodge. And Ford's in this lane next to us. But it is hot. Humidity sucks out here right now. But almost done here, and then we gotta go catch a flight. I gotta head to San Francisco. Well, we're off to the airport, done with the event we just did. Mike Burris and I, we're going. So, done with the Dodge stuff, done with the Chevy stuff, done with the Toyota rides. That's how busy we've been traveling. He's been on the road for at least a month, <laughs> pretty much. So his, Something like that. His wife's mad at him right now, so. <laughs> but. Off to do some stuff with Ferrari. He's off to do some stuff with the Trailhawk coming out in New Hampshire. So we're both going different directions. So we're on a rush to get to the airport. He's kind of close to board on his time. And we're good 30 minutes away from the airport. But if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys in the future.